Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. So on this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the red X or yellow explanation mark you might be getting over your network or Wi-Fi connection on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial and hopefully we'll be able to fix it without too much of a hassle for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in CMD. One of the best managers under programs that should come up should say CMD right here. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash release. Exactly how it appears on my screen here. And now you want to hit enter. Once you're done typing that in and you see you have a blinking cursor again, you want to type in ipconfig. space forward slash flush DNS, exactly how it appears on my screen. Then you want to hit enter. Once you're done typing that in, type in IP config space forward slash renew. Then you want to hit enter. And this one will take a couple seconds to run, so just be patient. And once that one is done running, type in NETSH space INT space IP space set another space DNS. So NETSH int IP set DNS. Now you want to enter on your keyboard. And now that that one's done, you want to type in NETSH space WINSOCK, so W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Then you want to enter. So just so you guys are aware, we just reset the WINSOCK catalog, and we're going to have to restart our computer in order to complete the reset. So I recommend restarting our computer right now, and there's going to be some more steps and different solutions mentioned later in the video once our computer has restarted. So once that is done, we will continue on with the tutorial. Okay guys, once we've done that and we're back from restart, I'd recommend checking your internet connection to see if you're able to get onto your websites once again that you were having issues with. Now if that still did not resolve your issue, I'd recommend opening up the start menu at this point and you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. One of the best matches in our programs should say regedit. You want to right click on it and then left click on Rise Administrator. When you receive a user account control window, select yes by left clicking on it. Now you want to navigate to each key local machine, so either double click on this folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. And then once you've done that, you want to do the same thing for the system folder right here. And now again for the current control set, do the same thing. And if you notice you're getting a little crammed on the left pane here, just grab the middle bar and just drag it a little to the right so you can better see where we're going. And now you want to go underneath control and now just go down until you get to network and just left click on the network folder one time. And once you've done that, there should be something that says config on the right side here. You want to right click on it and then left click on delete. You want to confirm the value deletion by left clicking on yes. And now I'd recommend restarting your computer. Again, it's very important to restart your computer and then see if your internet connectivity has been restored. Now if that did not resolve your issue, as a later step, I would also suggest considering resetting your router, so either unplugging it from the wall, or most routers nowadays have a button that you can actually just press and it will reset it. 
so it'll look like a circle with an arrow usually looping around it. You just hold it down for a few seconds and then hopefully it should reset the router settings. So it's definitely something to consider as well. And I would hope that could resolve your issue as well on top of that. And if that does not resolve your issue, a fourth method would be to open up the start menu and just go into system restore. And I've noticed this has success in the past. Basically just a classic traditional system restore here. And I'd recommend backing up to your most recently created one and then left clicking on next. And then just restoring back your computer. I know some can sometimes reset some of these issues you were having. It really shouldn't mess with too many programs and in terms of documents and pictures it really shouldn't change too much. And you just will click on finish and let it do its thing. But I do hope one of the methods I went through in this video does resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.